that's cold. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Arnabies. How are you today? So, uh, <laughs> happy Easter. You probably won't see this till like way after Easter, but um, today is Easter Sunday, and I had the day off, and <clears throat> so I had to go. Tomorrow is my great great nephew. Is that what is what it is? Um, hang on. Oh. <laughs> Uh, my niece's son, it's his birthday tomorrow, so I had to go out and get a birthday present for him, which is really cute. Um, but you want to see it? Hang on, let me go get it. <laughs> so this is a Fisher Price toy. It's called DJ Bouncing Beats. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Watch this. <laughs> So, it's got three different levels on it. Level three. <laughs> so, anyways, I thought this would be really cute for, for Mason, and apparently it's different languages as well, and um, it says... I love mommy. I love mommy. <laughs> I love mommy. <laughs> it's awesome. So, <laughs> so I thought that was really cute. So I thought I'd get it for, for Mason and uh, drive my sister and my niece crazy. <laughs> so, but anyway, um, so I went out to get that. <sighs> and then I had... The bright idea of my ears are still bugging me so <clears throat> I'm feeling like pain up in here and I'm feeling like this weird in the back of my throat something I don't know so I'm thinking maybe a neti pot would help me right um George is oh I thought I had my glasses on my head <laughs> here let, let me bring you in a little bit um excuse the mess back here so anyways, I've never used a neti pot before. And so I thought, well, maybe it'll help. I don't know, because um, George is going to a, it's like a business group. He used to, used to be part of one when I met him. Um, and he found a new one outside of Nanaimo. So he thought, well, he's going to go and try this out. And he met a chiropractor, I think she is. But anyway, she was saying that sometimes um, anybody that has issues with um, their hearing, it could be part of their jaw. And George went, wait a minute, Sandy was having problems with her jaw uh, when this all started. So he thought, maybe this woman can help. She does some cranial something, something or other. I don't know. So he can't, he can't see her uh, until the next meeting um, to make an appointment. So I thought, well, what if I tried a neti pot? I mean, we've already tried um, uh, spray in the nose. Um, and then my doctor gave me a prescription. I've been on that for a couple of weeks and it's not helping. So I thought, well, maybe it's not like not an infection or whatever. And I can't see the ear, nose, throat specialist until November. So I'm going, well, what am I going to do? Like, I can't keep going like this. So, yeah, so I'm having really a really hard time hearing. It's getting worse. Um, I think it's my left side. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, so we went to the drugstore <laughs> George says, hey, that's the one that's on the internet all the time. So we got the Navage. Navage. Um, I went on YouTube and I was watching some people trying this. 
it's a little scary. <laughs> uh, I have an issue with putting my head underwater and getting nose up my, you know, up and nose. I've got a fear of water, like a fear of um, deep water or whatever. So the thought of drowning, it freaks me right out. And uh, this is supposed to plug both your nostrils and it has this, the fluid or the water going through. Um, you're supposed to keep your mouth open because that blocks uh, the passage to the sinuses and it keeps everything up here instead of going down your throat. Uh, I was watching some of the reviews and everything and I was just like horrified um, because I'm going, oh my God, I could drown. <laughs> So, um, yeah. So, and then I started reading, this is it here. Uh, and then it's got the pads for the nose and everything. And they give you like, well, I got 10 free pods or something. So I got like 30 pods, but there's a nasal thing there. <laughs> thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. So anyways, I started... And I, oh, there they are. <clears throat> I started reading the instructions. <laughs> and tells you about the positioning and the posture and all of that kind of stuff. And then it's like troubleshooting, cleaning. And in the troubleshooting, it says, yikes, I'm getting water down my throat. <laughs> It says the key to success with Navage is to make your nasal cavity into a closed system that is separate from the oral cavity. Uh, and, and that makes it possible for the rinse to go in one nostril and out the other and not down your throat. It's the result of closed and soft uh, closed and closing the soft palate. For most new users, this happens naturally without thinking about it. But not for everyone. If you run into troubles, <clears throat> uh, some tips to follow. And then it gives you a phone number and all that. It says, relax. No one has ever drowned by doing nasal irrigation. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'd be the one to prove that wrong. I could just see it. <laughs> um, seriously. Uh, the more relaxed you are, the easier it is. I'm going, okay, well, we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm not going to be doing a video of me doing this because I will save you those details. Uh, George just told me, he says, well, did you do it? And I says, no, because I found out that I can't just use tap water. I have to use distilled water or something, or I have to boil the water from the tap. So it's going to take a little time. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really nervous. Uh, this really freaks me out. <laughs> so I hate getting water up my nose. It's just one of those things that puts me into a panic. So this is probably not the best idea. But at this point, I'm, re I'm ready to try almost anything to figure out if this is going to work. Right in the book, it says... If you have an ear infection or clogged ears or anything like that, don't use this. But, um, and I told that to George and George says, yeah, but they looked in your ears and it's clear. There's nothing in there. It's not like you have an infection. It's not like, like there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing between my ears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to think that if I'm actually going to do this, <laughs> there's nothing, nothing here. <laughs> Nothing to look at. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to go and try that and wish me luck. I'll come up. Yeah. Okay. I'll be back. <laughs> okay. I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> Here it is. I wasn't going to show this to you, but I thought you guys could probably use a good laugh. <laughs> um, I got it to the fill line. Got my little pod thing in here. Oh, God. Okay, so it says close it till it clicks. Oh, there we go. 
and then it's just to shake it to get all oh, oh. okay <laughs> don't shake it too much I guess shake it a little bit to get the um, stuff why is it leaking from here <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah okay let's see the, there's a button here oh it works oh okay <laughs> Oh, you guys, I don't want to do this. Oh, I guess I need to have like Kleenex or something just in case. Hang on. All right. Oh, this is going to be bad. I can just see it. I don't want to do this. All right. Oh, I don't want to do this, you guys. Help me. Help me. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, I don't want to do this. Don't make me do this. Oh, okay. I, I might cry or I might die. I want to cry or die. I can cry. Hey, can I? Okay, it's to ride or die. It's going to be cry or die. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Oh, George wanted to watch this. I was like, no, not happening. So I'm making you guys watch. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't want to do this. Do you guys have this? Do any of you guys have, you guys tell me in the comments. Like, do you have this? Have you tried it? Did you die? Did you, like what happened? <laughs> oh, okay. So you're supposed to put in your nose, keep your head level, and keep your mouth open. Oh, oh! If you're squeamish, don't watch this. I'm squeamish. I don't want to. Can I not watch? I don't want to watch. Oh, maybe I shouldn't show you guys. Maybe I'll just do the sound effects. <laughs> okay. Maybe that'll be a good idea. Okay. Let's, let's do that because, yeah. Okay. I'll just, I'll just pause and yeah. Okay. Okay. I didn't die. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Okay. Well, nothing came out. Oh. <laughs> okay. That was, oh. All right, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be because, oh, hang on. Oh. Ah. <clears throat> you know when you go in the water and you get water up your nose and it stings and it hurts and everything? This doesn't do that because it's salt water, apparently. Um, and it doesn't like it, like it won't sting because it's salt water and not just regular water, apparently. Um, I thought for sure I was going to feel that go up into my brain and all, and I didn't, I didn't even feel it going in and out. So that, that was good. That was a <clears throat> little bit went in the back of my throat, but not much. It was. <laughs> oh, okay, so hearing problems still there, but maybe if I keep doing it, maybe something will, I don't know. But what it, it did tell me basically is that my sinuses are not, not bad. So, hmm, my sinuses are clear, apparently. I'm going to try it a couple more times and see, because see, nothing, nothing's there. Nothing came out. Um, I don't even know how to get this thing apart now. I have to read that part. Um, so yeah, now I'm a little confused because I really thought that maybe having the warm water going through and everything, stuff would be coming out and it would help. Nothing's coming out. That worries me. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, so there we go. I did it. It was not bad. It was not horrendous I, as much as I thought it was going to be. Oh, there we go. Um, so now on to the next thing, I guess. I want the eucalyptus stuff now. They got eucalyptus salt water that's supposed to be really refreshing. So anyway, yeah, so that was fun. <laughs> not. Um, <laughs> I'll talk to you in a bit. <laughs> I think 
I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, wait, maybe not. Okay. Oh, it, oh, this is not not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Oh, no, not in there. Hi, Yarnabees. <laughs> How are you today? Guess what I'm doing? I'm learning how to knit. Attempting to. I think I'm doing it. Except I'm trying to figure out how I'm supposed to be holding my needles. Because <laughs> I have like a death grip on my needles here. And here, let me see if I can bring you down here. I, I'm um, holding my yarn and then I'm taking my needle and I'm going clamp. <laughs> and I think I'm doing that completely wrong. But if I'm, if I try doing it and just holding it like this, then I don't feel secure and I feel like I'm going to lose my stitches and I don't even know what happened there. And like, okay, so I know how to cast on. I know how to do a knit stitch. I think this is a knit stitch. I'm, I'm getting that. I think I'm almost on my, I'm on my third row, but I don't know if this is the way it's supposed to look. And you guys are going, Sandy, you're a crocheter, not a knitter. What are you doing? <sighs> well, I have a lot of knit customers that come through my door at my shop. So I figured that I should probably try to learn how to knit so that I can at least think I know what I'm talking about or pretend like I know what I'm talking about when they come in especially if it's newbies like newbie knitters at least I can say hey I'm I'm learning how to knit too and uh yeah but I'm using the bamboo hooks that I have in the shop and you know some people say that they hate bamboo but you know what I'm actually enjoying it but guess what I did? I took it a step further, you guys. Last night, I was sitting at the computer and I was tired and I wasn't thinking properly. And I went on Amazon and guess what I did? All of my OGs out there will know that a few years ago, I decided that I was going to try to get into doing um, Tunisian and I went full bore and I went and got an expensive pair of Tunisian hooks or a set of Tunisian hooks and when I got them I tried it and because I'm a pencil holder with crochet I couldn't figure out how to do Tunisian so I ended up gifting my Tunisian hooks to my bestie Sandy Duda um, because I just could not figure it out. Mm -hmm. I couldn't figure it out. So last night, what did Sandy do? She went and she bought herself some Knitter's Pride hooks. Whole set. <laughs> they should be coming on the 11th. Um, I don't even know if I like them doing this right now <laughs> but um, I'm still I still have like three sweaters that I'm working on but I um, I just wanted to try this to see if I could do it I watched my mom do this for years and everybody in the community seems to be getting on the knit ba bandwagon man I don't know so I thought I'd try this and uh, so far so good I think I think oh except when I started doing this first row I had such a wide gap and I thought oh okay I don't know if I'm supposed to have a wide gap but then I watched a knitting channel and he had a wide gap in his and I went okay well maybe it's not so bad 
but I, I honestly, I don't know if this is what, how it's supposed to look. And when I cast it on, I, um, it didn't look like that many stitches when I cast it on, but when I started doing it, when I got to the second row, why am I can't get this in there? When I got to the second row, all of a sudden, this these stitches expanded so much that now my scarf has turned into a little a wide scarf. Why a really wide it's turning into something? I don't know. Um, so I'm confused because. It's like it expanded or something. Nobody told me that. So now I've got a whole bunch of stitches on here. The um, the Knitter's Pride hooks that I've got coming, I think, are circular needles. They're, um, they, they come with a cable anyway. So if I wanted to do wider projects, then I probably can. So let me just finish these last couple of stitches, and then I'll show you guys what this looks like and all you knitters out there don't laugh at me okay because <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing um I'm just having fun playing I guess you know I mean I'm looking at all of the of the community like um Laura from Mad Mimi I think she's the one that started it but um, she all of a sudden got all these crocheters on the band knitting bandwagon and now there's a whole group of them that are doing it so um, yeah oh, one more stitch one more stitch please don't drop the stitches <gasps> I'm gonna drop the stitches oh, one more okay there we go wow <laughs> this is good this is going to look so funny. It's all twisted. Hang on. Oh, God. This looks terrible, I'm sure. Um, it's kind of hard to see because it's all bunched up. But look. Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches. She started knitting a few years ago. And now she's knitting, like, sweaters and stuff. So, um, so there it is. It's a travesty, I know, but it is what it is. <laughs> it's, I'm trying, guys, I'm trying. Ugh, but it's like, you can see on this side, it's almost like my stitches are puckered a bit. I don't know. So I think I'm just going to do the knit stitch for this scarf just to get used to how to do and I'm using the wrong yarn I know I'm using the wrong yarn for this for start uh, for a beginner a beginner should not be using this yarn but uh, you know me I have to do things like gung-ho and crap and then I end up failing if you guys have ever used this yeah it's splitty my needle seems to be catching um catching on the stitch and then i end up getting these little stragglers like oop, like that and like this here you see that yeah oh i just dropped a stitch <laughs> So, it is what it is. I'm just going to keep trying and I don't know. <laughs> I must be bored or something because I don't knit. I, I understand the concept of knitting. Um, trying to hold my knitting needles. I wanted to give my hands a break from crochet because my fingers and everything are starting to really hurt. I mean, you can see this finger is starting to really curve. Oh, it hurts. Um, this one's starting to curve a bit, right? So I thought, well, if I give it a break and try knitting, maybe that'll be, that'll work out. Like, I don't know. These are Eight 
8 millimeter. So I figured I'd use bigger needle. I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm telling people that are learning how to crochet, use a bigger hook and bigger yarn to start, uh, otherwise you're going to get frustrated. So I thought maybe the concept was the same with knitting. That's what I, I you know, when, when people come in that are learning how to knit, I'm talking out of my ass, honest to God, because I know nothing about it. I'm taking the same principles with crochet to knit, you know, and telling them this, I don't know if I'm telling them the right thing or not. So I figured, you know what, I think I better try and start knitting something. And so that at least I know sort of a little bit, sort of know what I'm talking about. Um, cause yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and if I get good at doing this, then maybe I can actually teach someone. No, I don't know. I can at least teach them how to cast on. So <laughs> I think I've lost my mind, you guys. Okay, five o'clock. I gotta lock up. I gotta go. <laughs> Talking bit. <laughs>